Here's hoping that my cooking doesn't kill anybody today. But no promises. everybody, I am Kindly Kid and welcome back to Mobile Monday. We're returning to Toka Kitchen 2, a game that I honestly haven't played in a very long time. But in case you're unfamiliar, uh, in this game you cook for uh, any three of these lovely willing participants. And you can make an assortment of all kinds of different foods for them. We're gonna cook for our little lady friend here and uh, we'll, we'll make some, some good stuff, but we will also make some disgusting stuff. As you can see, here are our ingredients to choose from, and you have some pretty standard ones. I mean, look, we got lettuce, pineapple, peaches, corn, just to name a few. You also have some strange ones, like a uh, blue fruit that has spikes on it that looks kind of dangerous, and also a tentacle. Just a straight up tentacle. It's a very colorful tentacle, I will say that. Is it a delicious tentacle? I guess with the proper preparation, it it could be a delicious tentacle. But we'll come back to uh, tentacle preparations later. Um, let's try to make this lovely lady so something good to eat. How about something simple? Maybe some rice and chicken. So let's grab the rice, and then uh, I guess we need to bring it over to the boiling water, right? I mean, that's typically how you prepare rice, right? Maybe maybe add some seasoning. There you go. You just gotta season that guy right there. And then add a little, little bit of pepper, just for good measure. Maybe a little soy sauce? I, I don't know. I mean, that, that seems like something you could do. And then we just stir that guy around. We could we could stir the pot a little bit. That's gonna be delicious. Now, I think what I can do is we can, we can take it out and then we can plate it. On, on one of our, like, ingredients plates. So, so we can save that for later. But now, we need to go back and prepare the chicken. Is that what we've decided? We'll go with her rice? Yeah, yeah, I think that's what we've decided. You don't wanna eat raw chicken? You're missing out, lady. So, let's, let's cook up this, this here chicken. Just move it around the panel. Oh, that's looking real nice. Don't overdo it, though. Um, we need some seasoning. We gotta season this guy. Salt, pepper, it's the classic. We should probably cut it up though for easier consumption. So I'll put it in this plate and then we'll go back and then I gotta bring that plate back and then and then we go over to the chopping board. Okay, we're gonna do some chopping. Oh yeah! Oh, that is very satisfying. Hey ja! Who cut chop? Hey, who hey! Oh no. I'm losing- I'm losing bits and pieces of chicken! Where's my chicken going? Alright, well, we, we've got some- We've got some bits. I'm- I'm very, very concerned about the well-being of my chicken here, though. Can I add it to the- to the- to the rice there? No? I can't? Maybe if I put it here, in a separate plate. Stop cutting the chicken! I just want to move my nicely prepared chicken over to the plate. Okay. And then... Plating. This is the best part. Oh, you're gonna love this. All right, eat it up. It's all yours. Dig in. Hmm. I worked very hard on this. That's right. I need to feed it to her. All right, eat up. There you go. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah? Okay, I mean, I was hoping for a slightly more bombastic response, but you know what? Get, maybe, maybe she's just getting the taste buds warmed up, you know? We'll, we'll give her a chance, okay? Yep. Mmm, that's... Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, and then you finish that off with a big old ball of rice. Is she allergic to rice? What happened? I worked so hard on that! And you sneeze in my face? You can count this chef as unbelievably offended. But I'll try again. I will try again. What do you think she likes? Can we make her some pasta? Can we actually make like a, a pasta sauce? Like a marinara? I see that we have tomatoes and we do have a blender. I have no idea how to make pasta sauce. Uh, please, no, I don't want to deep fry a tomato. Although maybe I do want to deep fry it. You know what? Let's deep fry a tomato. Why? Because we can. I mean, that could be delicious in, in its own unique way, right? All right, let's get this tomato out of here. Okay. Okay, I can put it on the plate, and then I guess I can just chop it up and 
serve it to her that way. You know what? She insulted me. So she's just going to get fed a whole fried tomato. Just you eat that. All right. You like that? It's a little hot, isn't it? Yeah, you should have you should have waited for it to cool down. How about a sandwich? Let's make her a sandwich or at least attempt to. So we've got some bread. And then what are we going to put on the sandwich? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just a, a steak. A whole steak sandwich? How could you not like an entire steak sandwich? Actually, I could think of a lot of reasons not to want an entire steak on a sandwich. But we're breaking new ground. We're, we're testing out the waters. We're a chef that's ahead of our time. So I'm going to throw it in the pan. We're going to cook up that steak a little bit. You know, you got to get the seasoning on there. You know, a little salt. Uh-huh. Little pepper. Maybe a little bit more salt. Bring out the real complex flavors of the steak. Okay, now hear me out. After you throw it on the skillet, you got to finish it off in the oven. Maybe. That's that's something. No, not the bread. I don't want to put the... Well, you know what, actually? We can toast up the bread in there. You know what? Let's let those guys cook up a little bit. Just just warm it up, you know? Everybody likes a little toasty bread. All right, all right, all right. So now I need to slice the bread. I will take the steak out. Okay, all right. Let's go over to the knife station. And we just got to get that bread and cut it right in half. What ya? It didn't work. Hold on. Let me try again. What ya? There you go. It's beautiful. Okay, okay. Here comes the plating. Oh, she's going to love this. She is going to love this. So we got we got the bread on there, okay? And then we put the steak on top of the bread, please. You got to eat it all together or else it's it's not going to it's, it's please. Please. You tell me I can't put an entire slab of steak on an entire loaf of bread and make this lady consume like 5,000 calories in one bite? This is not an option for me. All right, I'm upset. I'm upset that she refuses to turn this beautiful arrangement into a proper sandwich because you know you gotta add mayo right we add a little mayo to that to that sandwich maybe a, a little hot sauce you know yeah mm -hmm. give it a little kick all right let's see what she thinks of that here you eat the bread you gotta eat it in order so you eat the top part of the bread and then you just gotta leave it all in your mouth and make the sandwich in your mouth and then there you go she licked her lips. I think that's a mark of approval, maybe. It's improvement, to say the least. Okay, but I'm done being nice to you. You know, I tried, and the best you could give me is, is a little a little licking of the lips. Like, mm, that was pretty good. So we're going to try and make something so atrocious, so disgustingly awful, that it literally knocks her out. And I'm telling you, the tentacle continues to call to me. I mean, it's... It's an ingredient that, like I said, could be delicious. I've actually eaten octopus before, and it's good. How about a seafood smoothie? <laughs> actually made me feel like I want to vomit. And all of the ingredients are going in completely raw. Okay, I like this. I like the sound of this. So that guy goes in there. Um, we need more though. We gotta we gotta throw more in there. Okay, so maybe I can throw them all in together if I plate each of the ingredients. No, I didn't want to go back to the main menu. So what do we got? We got fish, right? So what are we putting in this delicious, nutritious smoothie? I would say fish is probably at the top of the list. Shrimp for sure, and rainbow tentacles. No, I just fed her just a raw rainbow. All right, so let's put all of these in plates, right? And then we go over to the blender. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, this is gonna be truly awful. All right, blend it up. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, that color. Oh, it's making my stomach turn. Oof. Oh, that is so bad. Okay, all right, all right. But I think it needs a little bit more, right? It needs a little bit of seasoning, maybe a little, little lemon there. Okay, yeah. You gotta, you gotta salt and pepper it up, right? Oh, that's yummy. That's, that's real yummy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And kick it up a notch. Throw in some hot sauce. Turn that smoothie, nice, delicious green brown color. Whoo, that is making me feel real bad. Okay, there it is. 
I present to you the seafood mm. sensation smoothie. All right, drink it up. I mean, she handled it better than I was expecting. You gonna take another drink? <laughs> if she's going in for seconds, maybe it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was. How do I make it worse? Do you think this weird spiky blue fruit is terrible? But well, let's try adding that and maybe we just need like a few more gross ingredients. How about mushrooms? People typically don't like mushrooms. I like mushrooms. I'm okay with them. All right. So we got the weird spiky fruit. We got fish. We got shrimp. Wait, no, go in there. Okay. We got mushrooms. What? No, you, no. They don't all fit. No, they all fit. We'll make it work. All right. Blend it up. Will it blend? Oh, yes. Yes, it will. And this time it has kind of a nice orange tint to it, which is repulsive. I approve. But now maybe we need to go a little bit more overboard with the uh, with the seasonings. Ketchup and mayo in a smoothie. I, I think I think that's the secret. I love that noise. That's that's a very pleasant noise. All right. More hot sauce. Let's put in some mayo. I assume this is mayo. This is not making me feel good. You know what? Let's go with everything. Soy sauce. Soy sauce goes with fish well. Oh, what? Whoa! Okay, just add some water for good measure. She's proven that she has a stomach of iron, but let's see how tough that stomach truly is. Can we take her out? Same reaction, and she goes in for a second drink. Unbelievable. All right, you know what? Clearly this girl has eaten some just absolutely foul stuff. She was prepared for what I had to throw at her. But she's going down. Oh, she is going down. So you know what? No more blending. We're just gonna do some, some fine chopping of the tentacle. And then, and then, this is where true art is born. You just load that thing up with, with mayo. Just loads and loads of mayo. Oh, you, you're very, I can tell by your facial expressions that you are just chomping at the bit. Try this one. More mayo. All right. I worked very hard on this, so I hope you enjoy it. Yes. She's a fortress. Okay, you know what? Let's spice things up a bit, huh? Oh, you're going down. You're going down. More spicy. I want those tentacles to be unrecognizable after I've spiced them up. What do you think of that? She's a monster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm putting all the condiments on. I'm going all out. There's no stopping me now. I'm not holding back my punches anymore. You're going down, lady. How about some lemon? Get a little sour in there. So many complimentary flavors. Your mind's gonna blow up. And a little salt. And a little pepper. There you go. Enjoy. Eat that up. Eat it up. Just... Yes! 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 You have been defeated! The mightiest boss I've ever faced in any video game. We did it. We did it, team. We took her down. Holy cow. The fortitude of this girl. Unbelievable. Let's see what happens. Actually, I want to take this over to, like, a fryer or something. Let's just... I mean, we loaded this thing with pretty much every single condiment that we have access to. Why not throw it in the deep fryer? See if that makes it better or worse. I don't know. Mm. What do you think of that? What do you think? Uh, yeah? Yes? Ooh. Uh, ooh. Really? It's just hot? Uh, to think. No. Uh, no. Once it cooled down a little bit, it still has the power to knock you down. But I gotta say, I'm impressed with how strong of a stomach this girl has. The last time I played, I played up against the Yeti, which is a literal monster. And he had a weaker stomach. She's the real monster. 
That's all I gotta say. But either way, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. 